Hello guys and welcome to this new video and this will be a video on request on how to install the resurrection ROM you know the latest build 6.1 now if you notice that I am already on resurrection ROM okay so I'll just go to about phone and there you can see I am already on the resurrection ROM and I've already reviewed this build number six and you can check that video out that will be the first link in the description below okay so uh, if you want to install the uh, resurrection rom you have to first you have to unlock the bootloader if you haven't okay you have to download the resurrection zip file and of course you have to get the g apps file now the links for all of that will be down in the tutorial blog post down below that is linked down below so you can head over there and get it so i'll just head over to settings and i'll also go to configurations to show people who are already on the resurrection rom i'll just go to updates and as you can see it says uh, there is a new update with the build number which is on 2509.23 so you can just go to download and download that build so when you download that when you have downloaded the build mainly i would recommend you to download it on your computer so when you're done with that we'll move over to the pc to follow the next few steps Okay, so the next step that we'll do is connect our phone to the computer, okay, and of course connect it with USB enabled, okay, USB debugging enabled. So when we are done with that, we will just take the two files that you can see here, okay. So we have the resurrection remix file that is the actual ROM that we need to flash and then we have the gapps. So we'll just copy both of that, okay, sorry about that. We'll just copy both of that, okay, and paste it into the internal storage of the phone sorry the sd card it's much you know important that you place it in the sd card because you will format the internal storage so this will give you a cleaner install and if you place it in the inside in the internal storage and then you format the phone you will not have the zip files so it's important that you keep it on an sd card now as you can see i already have the g apps because of the previous install now while it's copying i want to tell you a few things okay first of all sorry for all the background noise okay the next thing is that you might not always need to flash the G apps. So just make sure boot the ROM once. Okay, check whether the G apps or the Google apps are already functioning. You know, the Play Store, the contact syncing and everything like that. So if all that is working, you don't need to flash the G apps file. You can just download all the Google apps from the Play Store and be done with it. So if it is can work without the G apps like it used to work in build six, then you just do not need to flash the Z, G apps. Okay, so first flash the ROM, head over into the ROM, check it out, check out the things, and then if you feel that G apps, uh, the flashing of the G apps zip file is required, then you flash this G apps. Now we'll wait for the, you know, the copying to complete and come back. Okay, so now that the copying has completed, the next thing that we'll do is unlock uh, the bootloader. You know, even if you have the bootloader unlocked, I recommend you to, you know, complete this process you know just for the sake of it okay but you know sometimes as you might see like you can see here that i do not have the exe file that i require so if you face this thing make sure that you disable your antivirus or you know at least whitelist the folder where you kept it okay so i have kept it somewhere else so i'll just get into that folder okay so i have it over here hopefully yes okay so I'll open that tool. So make sure you whitelist the folder that you kept this file in, you know, from your antivirus or from Windows Defender or whatever you're using. So when you open the tool, you'll get this kind of a small window, okay, which says the, you know, you have to enter your condition. So our condition is our phone is on with USB debugging enabled. So I'll just enter one and hit enter. You'll have to wait for the phone to reboot into the bootloader and then it will ask you for the required steps. You make sure if you are having screen freezes, then you know it might be because you have an incompatible motherboard and you might have to relock your bootloader. So if the situation is like that, then you might want to go back to stock ROM and you know not install a custom ROM. So now that the phone has successfully rebooted into the bootloader, it will unlock give you the option to unlock the bootloader and relock the bootloader. So we will press one and hit enter. So, you know, that will just unlock the bootloader. So make sure that this doesn't give you screen freezes. If it gives you screen freezes, you might have to return back to the stock ROM and relock your bootloader. Okay, so that's probably done, but we'll still wait for the tool to complete its function. 
okay so there you go it's finished now okay now it's unlocking the bootloader finally so there you go now we have the bootloader unlocked so that's one step that we have completed right now okay so we'll just minimize this tool for right now okay we'll go into resurrection rom folder we will complete we'll copy the new trp file into the adb fast boot folder and paste it here okay so now that is pasted the next thing that you have to do is flash this new tr twrp so even if you have a twrp from a previous install i recommend you to install this twrp because you know it's much more stable so for that what you have to do is press ctrl shift and right click on a white space of this window and click on open command window here so the next thing that you will need to do is type out fastboot flash okay uh, that will be fastboot flash recovery and then the file name uh, which was new hyphen twrp new hyphen twrp dot img you know i'll not hit enter over here because i already have flashed this okay so if you haven't just install this recovery and the next thing that you need to do is just head over into the recovery and flash the actual rom okay so now we are still in the bootloader from the unlocking bootloader and flashing the twrp so what we will do is head over and open the recovery Okay, so we'll wait for the recovery to boot because it you know, takes some time. Okay, so there's one more error that you need to you know, remind. Okay, or keep in mind that would be that you know the first time that you flash this TWRP, you might see that the touch screen is not responding. So all you need to do is just you know just keep the phone aside for a few minutes. Okay, like one or two minutes, and then just reboot the phone into recovery again, and it should start working. So that's a little bug. I still don't know how to fix that, but that's there, and this is the workaround. So, but this TWRP, you know, recovery is much stable than the one that we have before, which was, you know, all colorful in yellow. Okay. So now that we're in the TWRP, the first thing that we'll do is wipe. Okay. So you can just head over to advanced wipe. So we will wipe Dalvik cache. Okay. We'll watch the cache and data. Okay. So, you know, you can wipe the internal storage if you want to. So, you know, I'll also wipe the internal storage and not the data. And okay, maybe in that even. Okay, so when we are done with that, you know, you won't, won't want to delete the micro SD and the system partitions. Okay, so and then we'll just swipe to wipe. Okay, so as you can see, it might give you some red colored errors, but you did not need to worry about that. Okay, so they don't affect the flashing or the wiping process that much. So the thing is that the cache formatting, the cache partition might take some time. So it might take a lot of time but you are not supposed to cancel this or reboot in the middle of this as it might corrupt your partitions and your phone might not boot at all. So please be patient with this, okay? And we'll be back when this cleaning process or the wiping process is done. Okay, so now the wiping part is done. So we'll just head back, okay? And we will go back, okay? And now we'll finally install the ROM. So what we need to do is we need to go up a level, okay? We need to go to external SD and then select the resurrection ROM zip file from over there. Okay, we will select that, you know, make sure that this is not checked, okay? Because that might give you some kind of an error. Okay, so, you know, keep this unchecked and just swipe to confirm flash. So this might also take some time. So again, you need to be patient. Okay, and of course, make sure your battery is completely charged or, you know, at least you have more than 50% of charge because this is quite a battery demanding process and you wouldn't want your phone to run out of juice, you know, while you're flashing. So as you can see, there are a lot of errors that are coming up on the screen. So there are no MD5 file found. It, you know, failed to mount something. But again, you need not need to worry about these. Okay, so just, just keep them aside and just wait for it to finish so there will be one more thing that you might need to keep in mind is that the first time that you boot this rom you might face a boot loop where the phone won't boot at all and you'll keep having the you know the boot animation going over and over again so what you'll need to do is then 
come over and press and hold the power and the up button okay for a while till you feel the phone vibrate and you see the asus logo so you'll go back into the you know the bootloader of your phone and from there you need to do a factory reset and then re the phone will reboot automatically into your new rom and then you would not have any more of um, in a boot loop so just to be sure we will just wipe again so that we do not face that boot loop okay so we'll just remove dalvi cache and the data partitions okay and we'll just swipe to wipe we did not do the flash the cache because you know we just installed rom so it does not have any cache so there you go the formatting is done we will just head back okay and of course we will just reboot into the system now again the fast the first boot takes a lot of time so again there is one more part where you need to be patient and wait for the rom to boot So there we have the resurrection you know, boot logo. So we'll wait for a few minutes and wait for it to boot up and then we will be back. You know, because we wiped just before rebooting and just after flashing, we did not face the boot loops in build 6.1. So as you can see now, the upgrade is in process and it's optimizing the apps. That's another painstakingly time-taking process. So we'll just wait for that to finish and the ROM to boot into the home screen. So here we are finally booted into the new build, or which is the build 6.1 for the Resurrection ROM version 5.5.5 for Zenfone 5. So as you can see, the first thing that you will see that has changed from the new, from the older build 6 is that now we have the Trebuchet launcher instead of the ASUS launcher. Also, the ASUS apps has been removed except, of course, the Pixel Master Camera and the ASUS backup software over there. So besides that, there are no other ASUS apps. And as you can see, there's not even Google apps. You don't even have Google Play Store. So all you need to do is head back into your TWRP and flash the G apps file in the way that we flash the ROM. So when you have done that, you'll have all your G apps and your Play Store and everything that, like that. So if you want a full review for this ROM, okay, it is coming up very soon, so please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the review or the full review for this ROM. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.